Let's say we want to multiply two large numbers that is less than 100. Here's how we do it without using a calculator. So let's pick two random numbers. Let's go for 92 and 98. So we want to times these two numbers together. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take our 92 and we're going to minus that from 100. So it gives us the value of 8. Now whatever we decide our first number to be, it will always be taken away from 100. Now we're going to take our second number, 98, and do the same thing. We're going to minus that from 100, and that gives us 2. Now we're going to take these two numbers, this 8 and the 2, and we're going to add them together. This gives us 10. Now like our previous two numbers, we're going to take this 10 and minus it from 100. So this gives us the value of 90. Now something magical just happened here because this is the first two digits of our answer of 92 times 98. So those two numbers we started with, 8 and 2, we're going to use them again. This time, we're going to times them together. So 8 times 2, as we know, is 16. Now this is where our second bit of magic happens, because that 16 is our second two digits of our answer. So 92 times 98 equals 9016. So by just remembering a few simple steps, we can do this complex multiplication really easily. So for those of you at the back who wasn't listening, let's go over that again. Now this works with any number, but the nearer they are to 100, the easier it will be to do. So let's start with 89 and 94 this time. And as before, we're going to multiply these two together. So we're going to take our 89 and minus it from 100, and that gives us the value of 11. Then we're going to do the same thing with 94. We're going to minus it from 100, and that gives us the value of 6. Now we're going to take these two numbers of 11 and 6, and we're going to add them together. So 11 plus 6 equals 17. Now we're going to take our value of 17, and we're going to minus that from 100. So this equals 83. So this means the first two digits of our answer is 83. Now, to get the remaining two digits of our answer, we take our 11 and 6 again. This time, we multiply them together to give us a value of 66. And 66 is our final two digits of our answer. So 89 times 94 equals 8,366. Now it's your turn. Grab a pen and paper and try this technique out for yourself.